What does it feel like when you can't breathe? It's like um, like being put in a box with no air. It's dark, it's black, and you just pass out. It's a, the scariest feeling you'll ever get, you'll ever, ever have in your life, ever. I was one bloke that never thought it ever happened to. <laughs> Four to five hundred people every year uh, participate in the Heart Start Cardiac Rehabilitation Program and about 250 people every year participate in the Pulmonary Rehabilitation Program. So over the past uh, 24 years, there have been 10,000 people in Bundaberg who have had some involvement in the program. So that means almost every family in Bundaberg has either had a relative or a friend who's engaged in the program and, and uh, have obtained some benefit. It, it's heavily dependent on public funding because uh, much of the activity provided by uh, in a rehabilitation program is not covered by health insurance or not covered by uh, Medicare funding. I'm probably as fit now as I have been for the last 20 years. But to go to the base hospital means that if you can find a park, you're going to be 100 metres probably away from the actual, that the exercise class will go to. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to get, the wife is going to have to <laughs> have to take me in a wheelchair to it and a wheelchair from it. Whereas here I can park downstairs, <coughs> walk up to the lift, come upstairs and do the exercise. And that's to me an essential part of, of, of trying to do the best I can for myself. The big things about the pool, the walking track and this gymnasium, uh, again, we see it as a risk because if they're going to try and do it all in the hospital, which is a smaller gym, it seems crazy for me that something as successful on a small budget with such a big success could even be challenged to be anything uh, but continually supported. They're, they're all go over and above what they're supposed to do. You won't get that at the base, you won't get that anywhere else. We just would really like to know why we have to break something that's providing such great outcomes for patients. I just hope that the mature heads can come together, a common sense outcome can be found, and we look forward to making sure that we remember the patients are the one that should be put first. Have my lungs just for two days. See what it's like to die slowly by not being able to breathe. And as far as the bureaucrats are concerned that make the decisions, get off your ass and do something useful. And I can't put any point in that.